A few weeks ago when we uh, celebrated the 30th anniversary of this show, Paula Sands Live, one of our regulars from the early days reappeared and we thought we ought to have him back. Da -da -da -da. Dino Hayes as Dr. Discovery. Yes! We're back. back. Oh my God, back together, back in the house, back in your sweet arm. <laughs> Are you ready for our little experiment off the top? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is all kitchen science fun here, so we want, what we want you to do is to find a Ziploc bag in your house somewhere. This is the incredible Ziploc bag of science. I've had it for 35 years. <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little experiment with the Ziploc bag of science. I'm gonna hold it over my head, way up here, and Paula Sands is gonna take one of these very sharp pencils of science, and she's gonna quita! right through the bag and get that pencil in On there. top of your head? On top of my head? And get your wig wet? And get my wig wet. <laughs> Are you sure? Go as hard and as fast as you can. Oh! Oh! Was it supposed to do that? No. <laughs> Sorry. First experiment back and that's the way it is. That's live TV, <laughs> don't that you know? That is live. Well, I'm not even going to try it. Let's just put that wait, away. Wait a minute. Was that not supposed to leak? No. Oh, what? No. <laughs> that figures. <laughs> oh, I'm all wet, too. We, no, wait a minute. It really was not supposed to come out like well, that. Well, the process is, the process is, if it is there and you shove a pencil straight through it and let it stay, oh. it won't leak. Now, see, do you know what? what's there? <laughs> We've yeah. got a leak up above, but where the pencil is right now, yeah. no leakage. Yeah, you gotta is tell. it magic? Is it magic? No. <laughs> oh, no, God. No. It's, it's science. It's that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, it's wonderful. I, I had nightmares about this for 30 years, and we're right back to it. I know. It feels like it, we're home. It is live TV. It that is, is what, ha if it's going to go wrong, it's going to happen live. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, what's next? It's All gonna, right. Well, what's our next failure? This out of the way. Oh, no. This one is not a failure. This one is Ooblick. Do you guys remember making Ooblick? I think the last time we made Ooblick oh. was that, in 1996. That made a mess. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, and it's okay. beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, Ex all you need for Ooblick, we are going to create a non-Newtonian liquid, a non-Newtonian fluid using only cornstarch and water. All right. So we're going to start with... Is that gravy? About a half. <laughs> about a half Great. a cup. Mm -hmm. of cornstarch in a bowl. Okay. And the ratio is this. Whatever you have for cornstarch, use half water. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take a quarter cup mm -hmm. of water and dump that into the bowl. And then you're just gonna start mixing that around with your hands if you want, or uh, I can mix it around. You have a spoon in this kitchen? Well, Crazy. It, it's fake, but there are a few real things, <laughs> including a spoon, okay. All right, here we go. We're mixing, we're mixing, we're mixing, we're mixing. Ooh, do you feel it change? Do you yeah. feel it start getting I, I, tough my, down there? The, the spoon is having a hard time. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. What we're doing now, oh my gosh, I think I got some in here. All right, so close up here, we have what we call a non-Newtonian fluid. I knew you were gonna make a mess. Non-Newtonian okay. fluid. Just See, like it's that. forming a ball. See the ball? Right. See the ball, and then when you, take the pressure away, it turns oh, back into fluid. That's fun. But if you put the pressure back on the ball, it'll form that ball again. Is that is that magic? No, it's not magic, it's science. science. And the reason that this happens is because of the molecules in the cornstarch, they're long and rod shaped. So when they join with the water and you put pressure on them, they form a structure. And then when you take the pressure away, ooh, blech. Blech. That's why it's called yeah. ooh black. You're exactly right. I love that. Beautiful. One is of that, my favorites. It, it, One that, of my favorites. Didn't, that didn't fail, although that is a big darn mess. It is a big darn mess. But you know, science is messy. Science is fun. It is fun. Very, very cool. Okay, very, so very cool. Um, do you have one more thing, or should we look at old video? Do you want to look at an old video? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, it's so, been so long. 28 years ago, Dino and I went to the Mississippi Valley Fair together. Oh, my gosh. Yep. And it was the science of uh, uh, amusement park rides. Yes. Yep. I think this was the, uh, Jake, what's that thing called? The the jumpy thing. The, the ejection. <laughs> the ejection. Oh, it was really? that one, remember? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's Absolutely. go back now to August 5th. 1999. Paula, if for some reason this does not work out, you get all of my Tito Puente albums, all right? <laughs> Thank you, Dino. I should also mention that uh, Jason and Dino are the first two 
to be experiencing the ejection seat ride here at the Mississippi Valley Fair. They just set it up. They just tested it. They are the first two subjects of the entire week. They're thoroughly strapped in in about four different places. I think they signed an insurance policy. <laughs> On your marks. Get set. Eject! Eject! Doctor, just go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dino and Jason DeRush, I'm so proud of them both! You guys are my heroes! My heroes! I can't wait to hear this. All right, you guys. What can you say about it? I would recommend that absolutely everybody at the fair do this ride. It was incredible. <laughs> you, that, that first jolt and everything goes quiet and you feel all the air rushing past you. It's awesome. Jason? I would highly recommend the merry-go-round. <laughs> uh, this, this was pretty drastic. You know when they say you when you die, you're like headed towards the light? It's a very similar sensation. <laughs> it was pretty wild. It you was guys fun. were pretty quiet, though. Well, you were holding on for dear life. I mean, you, you weren't screaming. No, the whole thing is, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and wind I'm, really rushes at your face. And it's a nice view you get up there. It's certainly when you're, when you're just facing the ground and heading toward it. That's a really nice view. Ah. Oh, but, man, congratulations, you two. You, you are big men right. in my eyes. <laughs> Jason DeRussia uh, was part of our news team back yes. then, and you, got, you two were really cute together. That was fun. Oh, my hero. My I hero. I don't know who that kid was who was interviewing right, you. Right, right. So young. Some so kid off the street. I have never done that since. I, uh, the ejection scene? Never. No. But that's, I tell people I've done it, though. <laughs> on camera, you'll mm -hmm. do anything. Yep. You got one more thing for us today. Yeah, this is just a fun little thing. I have the candle of science lit right here. Let me uh -huh. get all this stuff out of the way. We have a candle right there. And we're going to extinguish this candle, except we're not going to extinguish by blowing. We're not going to extinguish it by pouring liquid on it. We're going to extinguish it by pouring gas on it. Oh. So we have a little bit of baking soda, mm -hmm. just a little bit in a cup. I use about a tablespoon or so, and I'm going to mix a, an acid into there and form some CO2, and then we just have to dump the... Oh, did oh. you see that? Nothing poured, and it just extinguished that flame. Not a big flame, so it's not that amazing. But I'm sure on TV, at home, in your living room, it looks amazing. You're probably crying right now. There is a word so that much. I love to use. Mm -hmm. Anticipointment. Anticipointment. <laughs> I didn't invent that word, but I love using it. I'm glad you could use it with me. Was it magical? Mm, it was, but it was mostly... Science. Science. Okay, so the Center for Living Arts. Can you tell this guy is a theater guy? Um, so you you've been doing that lovely uh, little gig together for with your wifey for how many years now? Season eighteen, baby. Oh, wow. Season and, eighteen. And all the young kids you've influenced and corrupted and, <laughs> uh, for the theater scene. Uh, it's it's true. You've really made a difference, an impact, a positive impact around well, here. Well, bless you. So you've was, made that for me. So will you come back again, maybe once or twice? And don't make such a big darn mess next All right. time. I was wondering, I was almost going to bring back the bed and nails. Are you up for standing on my chest with the bed and nails? You want to do that again? Yeah. At our ages? Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, okay. go for it. Book, book that, Jake and Claire, and we'll be all set. All right.